When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. What I do know, I'm still Angie. This is still Four of Beauty. You are still most welcome. And from what I can see, you've got the best seat in the house. As you can tell from the thumbnail today and the title, this is a tag film which was started by my lovely Hui Scottish Viking friend Will Venus and it's my favourite words I've always loved words I've always loved reading and every time I came across a word I didn't know it intrigued me and I wanted to find out how you pronounced it and what it meant and how you used it so I couldn't resist when I saw that he'd done this so I have chosen six of my favourite words to share with you so grab a drink grab a snack put your feet up and get comfy because here it comes I'm a little bit hoarse today, sorry, it's hay fever. Um, and the wig is for a couple of reasons, really. Partly because the lovely Will has another channel called Aphrodite Postiche, because he's a wig maker. He makes far better wigs than the one that I'm wearing. But mainly because my hair was not playing ball today, so I'm like, Do you know what? I'm not going to fight with you. I'm just going to put a wig on over the top and be done with it. So. My first favourite word, which has also become a firm favourite of my husband's, is discombobulated. It even feels nice to say it. Discombobulated. Basically it means to confuse someone or make them feel uncomfortable. Um, a synonym for it would be bemuse. But uh, I like it. It's a good word. It's a fun word. It makes me smile. The second word is it's a word my granddad used to use when I was a kid. So that's where I heard it from. Mugwump. Now if you look in most dictionaries nowadays, it'll say to you that the mugwump is a person who likes to be politically independent and does not support or remain loyal to any political party or group but that's, that's an American definition the UK old-fashioned definition and the way my granddad used it was for a stupid person God, look at that mug lump over there I ask you I need to have a bit of a wiggle folks I mean, a lot of pain, give me a minute I'll, I'll cut the wiggle out, hold on I am back. I told you it'd be quick. Right, third word is kutch. Spelt C W T C H. It's a Welsh word. And it's Welsh for a hug, but not just any kind of hug. It's the sort of soft, squishy, warm hug filled with love that the kind you get from a grandparent or your favourite auntie or you know when you when you fall over and hurt yourself and you get those big squishy hugs oh, it's all right don't worry about it you'll be fine just dust yourself off go on big hug make it all better hugs always make things better but it's the fact that you can feel the love through the hug that makes it a kutch kutch is more than just a hug kutch is a special Fourth favourite word, another fun one to say, Schadenfreude, which is probably not a very nice word actually when you think about it. It's it's the experience of pleasure or joy from um, or self satisfaction that comes from learning of or witnessing the troubles, failures, or humiliation of another. 
seeing someone get their comeuppance deserve rebuke or penalty. So, for me, it's when you see a bully get a taste of their own medicine. Schadenfreude. That sense of, oh, that serves you bloody well right. You know, not, not for when a nice person has something bad happen to them. Schadenfreude is definitely a, well, you deserved that. You had that coming. You know? Love that word. Fifth word is another Welsh one. Hiraith. H-I-R-A-E-T-H. Which is... It's, it doesn't have an exact definition or translation to English, but it's, it's basically um, a homesickness for a home that you can't return to or that never was so you know when I when I think back to summer days when I was a kid granddad pointing out all the different animals and birds and you know teaching me how to play rugby and That's here, right? That's that's. I wish I could experience. I wish I could go back to then, just just to experience it once more, you know. Well, I'm guessing with rose-coloured glasses, it maybe wasn't as great as I'm remembering, but yeah, we've all got those memories, haven't we? And the sixth and last favourite word of mine is petrichor, which is P-E-T-R-I-C-H-O-R. And it's very simple. It's that lovely earthy smell you get when it's finished raining. You know when you've had a real, particularly in the summer, a real suddenly bucketing downfall with those huge great ploppy raindrops that just splosh and get you soaked in no time at all. But lovely and warm, it's almost like having a shower outside. And then when you when you come back out afterwards, the earth just smells so rich and clean and it's that smell. I love I love both that smell and that word. So there you go. There are my six favourite words following on from the lovely Will Venus's tag film. I will link his channel and if I can find it, his original tag film, in the description below. And I would love you to go across and see his film which started this particular tag. Any of my fellow creators who are watching this, count this as your official challenge to produce your film of your favourite words. Looking forward to finding out what some of them are, particularly people that live in different countries. You know who you are. You do. You know. Mm. Right, if you're one of my regular viewers, please check you're still subscribed. YouTube are unsubscribing people, um, and obviously it's not very obvious at the moment where I'm uploading a bit spasmodically, but I'm trying to get back to a something of a schedule um, trying once you've checked you're still subscribed please check your notification status mine keep getting knocked from all back to personalised which means I don't get any at all uh, and as well as me getting that on channels I follow people that follow me are saying the same thing so not just for my channel but all the channels that you want notifications from, please double check that you are still registered for the type of notification you want. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, this is one of my shorter films. My films usually are half an hour to three quarters of an hour, so they're great to stick on when you're getting ready in the morning, pottering around the kitchen and just, you know, 
give you time to wake up gently ease your way into the day. But if you enjoyed this, it'd be lovely if you'd like to join the Fora family. We are the nicest family on YouTube. Super easy to do. Hit that red subscribe button, turn it grey. Then you ring my bell, ring my bell, and choose all notifications in the hope of those geniuses at YouTube will actually send you some. In the meantime, to catch up on me and more of my madness, I've got an awful lot of other films you can watch. There's other tag films, there's challenges, there's product reviews, there's makeup tutorials. I even read you my favourite poem in one of them. So you're going to find something to interest you, I hope. So, basically, grab a drink, grab a snack, pick a playlist, put your feet up, my darling, and indulge in a little bit of me time. Close the door, shut the kids, shut the old man, shut the old woman out, just a bit of me time. Right, my darlings, that would do for me for one day. All that remains for me to say, as ever, is you'll stay fabulous, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.